Alright folks, welcome to Plexus. So, if you clicked on this video, chances are you want to know what AS9145 is, because quite frankly, it's probably started to show up in your contracts, it started to show up as a buzzword around your industry forums, and you want to know a little bit about what it is, and most importantly, what it is not. AS9145 is how the aerospace community would like you to bring a product from concept all the way to maturity. So AS9145 started out as APQP in the automotive world. It was how we brought a vehicle from concept all the way to maturity. And so Aerospace then took that. They now have AS9145. And AS9145 is a standard that you will see come up during contract. So if your customer requires you to engage in an AS9145 style management of your project, that's kind of how this comes into play. Now, most people think that AS9145 is different than AS9100, but it's not. AS9100, for those that may not know, is the quality management system for aerospace. And so most of you are AS9100 compliant already, if not AS9100 certified. AS9145 is just how you do Section 8, like doing the contract review, doing the design, doing the purchasing, all of that jazz. So... AS9145 is laid out in five distinct phases shown here. And the big selling point of this, honestly, is it is simultaneous engineering between product and process. Now, in the past, product design and process design had largely been thought of as separate entities. In AS9145, both product and process initiate together, evolve together, and mature together in order to get to a product that is not only the right fit, form, and function, but also is manufacturable. So that's one of the huge selling points. It leads to less redundancy, less design iterations, less tooling cost, all of that thing, right, due to redesign. But what the AS9145 group did is they said at each phase, we're going to put together what they call activities and deliverables and so these deliverables are really like the outputs of AS9145. Now, why is this beneficial? You don't want to get to the end of the program and figure out that you don't have everything built in. So we're going to pump the brakes and we're going to check at each phase, do you have the deliverables in order to exit the phase? Now, these deliverables are absolutely engineered to build one on top of the other. So if you're in phase two, and you see the deliverable up on the screen for phase two, you can't get to that phase two deliverable until you get the deliverable for phase one. All right? So it's always an evolution. Am I telling you that you can't skip forward past phase one with some of the deliverables left undone? You absolutely could. However, when you get to phase two, that's gonna be a problem because unless you do this thing, you won't get this thing. All right, so let's recap here. AS9145, is how you bring a product to market in the aerospace industry from concept all the way to maturity. It aligns perfectly with AS9100 Section 8, and so if you're engaging in AS9100, you're already doing these activities. Thirdly, it has five distinct phases. Fourthly, each phase is predicated on the one before, and every output builds on the outputs before. Now, the last thing we want to cover here, in the total for Aviation Core Tools, there are five largely recognized core tools that are shown on the screen. AS9145 is the mother of them all. All of the other tools that you see up on the screen exist within AS9145. So this is the first one. This is the Genesis. And so we wanted to really put that out there to give you guys a real quick way to figure out whether or not AS9145 is right for you. All right, so if you like this, make sure you subscribe so you never miss a blog. And if you're looking for anything else on AS9145, aerospace or automotive related, check out our website, and we'll see you in the next one.